welcome everyone to this um, webinar on how you can get started with GitLab or GitHub uh, within Aqua Data Studio. My name is Anil, and I am uh, one of the sales engineers here. And with me is my esteemed colleague, um, Darren. And without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we'll do is to actually go ahead and, and look at uh, GitLab. So GitLab, if you were to go in there and, uh, and sign in, you can sign in or create a brand new account. This webinar does not focus on, on how you can get there, but it shows you how you can go ahead and, and provision uh, the elements that you need for getting started. There's a lot of documentation here built in as soon as you register for a new account in GitLab. And then you can actually go ahead and start creating files and uploading files using either directly the web GUI or the command line. So in our case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna showcase this. And uh, what we're also gonna be doing is uh, I have another application here where we will be showcasing uh, our latest and greatest 22.2, uh, uh, which I'm gonna fire up here in a bit. And that's gonna showcase uh, the benefits of, of utilizing GitLab and GitHub in the same area. So going forward, we'll now stick with 22.2. Uh, just out of curiosity, how many of you have worked with any sort of version control? Can you please put your responses in the chat window? And this is one of the newest uh, offerings that we have is the ability for you to go to uh, and have the dark theme that we have introduced. So we just went GA a couple of days ago and this is our latest and greatest dark theme. So now a lot of customers have been asking for this. So this is how it would look in the user interface. You can go to your files, options, and under general, you have appearance. And this is where you can choose Aqua Data Studio Dark. So now that I have um, a GitLab open, the first thing I need to do is to actually go ahead and clone my repository. So here I can use either SSH or HTTPS. And to do that, you first need to go into your uh, settings page where you can actually view more information about it. If I go back under my preferences. And here you can see, I'm not going to show my SSH keys, uh, but this is where you would go ahead and generate your SSH keys first. And once you have that, then you can come into Aqua Data Studio. And under the files section, under file system, you can actually just say new folder. And right here, I'm actually going to go ahead and go to version control and say git own repository. I'm going to go to my Git URL. So in order to go to the Git URL, I need to go to my location of my main of my main projects here. And I go to clone. You can clone either with HTTPS or SSH. I'll choose HTTPS. And I need to choose a folder. So here I can just go ahead and do a folder here. So here I'll just put in as uh, the webinar. Use that and hit OK. And that should give me the option to enter my username and password. I've already gone ahead and done that, so I'll not do that. So once I've done that, I can actually navigate here. And this is what you will see as part of the file system here. So if I were to go to this location, you can see a readme file. What I'll do is I'll add a couple of files here so that we can show you how the template is. So I'll use the um, MIT based license. So I'll go ahead and use MIT. And here I'll just uh, scroll down and I'll put it under my main branch. I'll go back here. I'll add a change log. And here I'll just put a license and a different file here this time.
There we go. So now if I go back to my Aqua Data Studio, right click and I do a Git pull, it's going to go ahead and get me all that metadata information here. And same thing if I were to go into the uh, other uh, Git uh, uh, area. So for example, if I go into the 22.11 here. So here, if I go and refresh, now you can see I have licensed and licensed. So now if I open this up, I can actually just say open in current window. There you go. Now, if I go and open this up here again, in current window, I can see all this information. Now, let's say I wanted to go ahead and add a new file here. I'll call it demo.sql. And I'll go ahead and open this up in the current window. And here, I'll just do a select start from. Let me choose a different one. Uh, let's say if I wanted to go to one of my servers and scroll down here. And uh, we can go to Microsoft SQL Server. If I go under one of my sample databases and go to one of my sample views, and do a select top 1000. There you go. And I can go ahead and save this, this file. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and save it under the desktop. And I'll go to my GitLab. And here, I can save it either under a webinar and save this as demo.sql. I'll say yes. If I go back to my files, and then if I just say open in current window, it gives me this. I would now like to go ahead and check in this, this changes. This will go ahead and commit this here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then I can stage this and I can add a comment. I can push the changes to the origin. There you go. It's writing all the objects and it's done. So now that it's it's done there, let's go to our, our web portal and see that we do have a demo.sql here along with this. So now if I wanted to do any kind of um, Edits. I can actually go ahead and edit this within the IDE here itself. I'll just say web comment. And I can create a change. And I can commit this to the main branch. Cool. Now, if I go back to um, Aqua Data Studio, I can right click on this and I can do a, a pull, or I can actually do a, a compare the base version. But right now, there's nothing, uh, 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 a difference with this. So if I do a pull, now if I do a compare, do a the base, and if I were to make any changes here, so let's say, then it, then it, Now, if I do a compare with uh, the base version, you'll see that this is different, and here's the differences here. So now I want to commit the changes. I'll go ahead and just do a commit. Same process, stage it, replaced with, with them all. Comment. Push it to the origin. And excellent, everything's done. And then I go back here and uh, go back to the project. Let's see that this has just been committed. So everything happens really fast. And uh, that's what's awesome about this. Next, let's take a look at a similar example here. I'm going to go ahead and add a, a new file. And I'm just going to say 
here I'm just going to copy the same thing, but I'll just say on GitHub. This is. So I'm going to commit this here. I need to name the file. There we go. Now if I come back to Aqua Data Studio, and now go to GitHub, and then I can go Git pull. There you go. Now see the demo.sql. Open this up. See that? And of course, again, if you wanted to make changes, you can change this. Uh, the studio. <clears throat> and then here I can go and hit commit. We'll do this here. Push this to the origin. And then if I'm given any kind of uh, credentials, I can go ahead and push those with my uh, credentials. We have those options here built in as well. So that uh, sort of wraps up our our webinar on what I wanted to discuss today. And um, so these were some of the newer changes that we, we made in the product. And then in forthcoming webinars, you will see more advanced uh, uh, ways of, of working with the uh, control, version control will be demonstrated along with some other key visual analytics areas. All right, with that, uh, we come to the conclusion of our webinar today. And if you would like a personalized one-on-one -on -one demo, please feel free to reach us at idera.com, request a demo option there, and then we'll be more than happy to talk to you folks. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.